uh, yeah, we'll do the question number four. Question number three, you have to do, student has to do themselves. So another thing we learn in this chapter is the find the, uh, we know that between two rational number, there are therefore infinite number of rational numbers. So uh, let's say we have a minus 2.5 is here and 1 by 2 is here. This is two points you give. We have to find 10 rational number in between. So there is two ways we can do it. Uh, there are two methods. So luckily this denominator we have a 5 and 2. So that number we can convert into a decimal number. So uh, this minus 5 divided by 2 if we multiply both on the uh, numerator and denominator if we divide both uh, multiply both by 2 it will become 4 minus 4 and in the bottom 10 so this is become in decimal point 0 0.4 I think you remember this one in the uh, previous standard so one half if you want to multiply uh, pi on both numerator and denominator then it becomes pi divided by divided by 10 so that means 0.5 so so we have a we have to find 10 rational numbers so now this is the this is minus 0.4 and this is the plus 0.5. So you can you can say this uh, this is the 0.4. You can add zero at the end. Still value remains same, right? Is the 0.40 and minus 0.40 and minus 0.50. They didn't say equal measurement. So that means uh, you can put uh, any 10 number between, like between minus 0.40 and minus 50, we can say uh, minus 0.39, uh, um, minus 0 0.38, minus 0.35, minus 0.35, uh, 20, let's say 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 0.10. You can take any number. See, this negative number, I took 5 number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? You can put uh, is uh, anywhere like this. And let's say here is our 0. So, a point 0.50 is on this side, on the positive side. So, I can take now uh, 0 0.10, uh, 0 0.20, uh, 0 0.30, uh, 0 0.30, uh, let's say 0 0.30, 0 0.45. We can take any number, but it doesn't matter. Uh, 0 0.49. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, that's why I, I just made a 10 number. So, anyway. So, this is the the one way uh, to find the as many numbers as we want between these two numbers. And uh, uh, another method is, uh, uh, let's say, it's a little bit uh, longer. But uh, if you don't have a denominator like 2 or 5, uh, in the in the denominator then you cannot convert into decimal so then what you do uh, uh, the second method is like yeah you say uh, this is a this is minus 2.5 and this is 1.2 so you find the middle point and then you keep finding middle point between this let's say uh, this is a point this is B point, here is C. 
So then between A and C, you find the D here. Then between D and A, you can find E here. And between A and E, you can find F here. So like if you keep adding middle point, so uh, let's say if we need 10, we need 5 on this side. 1, 2, 3. Uh, uh, middle of this D and C will be E, F, uh, G. And middle of D and G, G, uh, H. And a G and H, uh, I. I just gave him the number. How to calculate, I will say. Same way here. Between C and B, uh, H, I, uh, J, uh, between the, uh, this is K in between C and J. And J and B, uh, L. See like how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? Number. This is the where we can find the 10 rational. But uh, to find the mean, mean means uh, middle point. So how you find the middle point? You add this together 1 by 2 half and 1 half. This is the uh, addition. You learn that uh, positive and negative number and then you divide both by 2. So that will be the middle point. Your C point will be like that. So if you minus 2 and 1 half uh, the common denominator like you said the uh, uh, it will be uh, 10. So it will be 2 here and 5 here. And 5, 2 multiplied by 2 means become uh, minus 4. And 5, uh, then plus 5 on the top, right? And uh, and the whole thing divide by 2. So uh, let's simplify this one first and then divide by 2. So plus 5 minus 4 equal to uh, min plus 1 divide by 10. And again you have to divide by 2. So that means <coughs> Uh, <coughs> so one divide by 20 and again if you multiply by 5 on top and bottom it will become uh, pi divided by 100 so see this is the length this is the, just the only C point. This is 5 divided by 100 or 0 0.05. <coughs> but again, you have to, uh, this is a, uh, let's say, uh, was a 5 divided by 100. Then again, you have to find the mean between these two numbers. Say, uh, again, to find the D point, the D point, you have to say, between A and C, uh, mean. So, means minus 2 by 5 plus 5 by 100 and whole thing divided by 2. So, this is the, you have to do so many times and that way uh, it becomes uh, lengthy but you can find all these points the mean number between any two and keep doing this one until uh, 10 times see that's uh, that's why i said that it is too long to do it mathematically do it other one is easy one you can just pick up uh, any points so if you convert into decimal point but uh, you got the idea that there are two ways you can find the uh, required number of, we have a set 10 here, as many 
because there are infinite number of uh, rational number between these two rational number. So these two ways you can find the uh, numbers. But like I said, easy ways to do is to convert into decimal.